Hey everybody, Brett from Stardew's Gaming here, back with uh, another first look video slash possibly part one of a series for uh, Bomber Crew. So this is a game that just released on Steam, um, and essentially what you are doing is equipping and managing the crew of a uh, World War II British bomber plane, and uh, the game seems really, really fun. Uh, I haven't played it myself yet, but um, I have seen it played. And uh, it looks to be a blast, so I figured uh, I would at the very least show it off on the channel and uh, hopefully do a full uh, playthrough of the campaign if you guys are interested. So I've gone ahead and jumped through the tutorial, um, which only takes about a minute, but I figured we'd get right into some actual gameplay. So the first thing that I am tasked with doing is recruiting the rest of my crew to uh, crew this bomber here. Um, I think we have a pilot, we have a... Well, let's jump into the recruitment tab and we'll figure it out. We have a pilot for sure. We have, I think, one gunner, a uh, radar man, and a navigator. So, yeah, let's see. I have, I assume that's the pilot. It looks like we need a technician or an engineer. Uh, we have a navigator, we have a radio operator, and we need another gunner and a bomber. So, do I get to choose or is this just my options here? Um... Oscar Mumford is apparently an engineer. Uh, let's see, he's a mountaineer. He's 20 years old. Um, I don't know what any of these stats mean, but he's pretty fast, it looks like. What are the other options we've got here? Patricia McGregor. Uh, she's 100% speed, so he's 120. I don't know. So far, he's looking to be a lot better. Like, in every way, he seems better. Uh, we also have Peter McLeod. Um... Who also doesn't seem all that great so I'm definitely gonna go with Oscar Mumford here he's also got the mustache I would expect from a uh, British World War II bomber uh, not pilot but bomber crewman so welcome aboard actually wait um, they have zero survival yeah he seems just like objectively better in every respect so easy choice right there um, now we're looking at gunners and bombers so let's see we have christine scott i'm not sure what stats make a good gunner um this i believe is their level so i think they're all level one yeah um armor is probably going to be important for gunners i don't know if they're going to get shot more often than anybody else or shot at more often but armor seems like it would be critical for them i don't think they'll be moving all that often so speed might not be the biggest thing for them. Um, thermal, I think, is important for everybody. Oxygen might be important for everybody. So I don't, I don't know if she's particularly great. We have Joseph Hunter, who doesn't seem any better than her. Uh, Angela Taylor. They have the same stats, but she's better at surviving in looks like land versus water. So if they have to abandon the plane or anything, uh, let's see. She's really good, actually. But so is he. She moves faster and has better armor. I think she's the better choice here. Although he's not bad either. Again, I, I like the requisite mustache. I'm kind of tempted to take Melvin Stewart here. Um, the only advantage she has is the speed and one armor point. I'm going to go with him. He's got a better chance of surviving in water situations. Uh, he's much more temperature resistant. He is a bit slower, though. And I think we can sort of supplement armor with uh, equipment. So that might be an easier thing to overcome. And then we have Carl Bell. Well, she's by far the best choice. So Angela Taylor it is. Okay. Let's go to our gear tab now. We can actually outfit these guys. Um, I'm gonna see if I can like maybe color code them or something. Oh wow, you guys are in your civvies. That's not good. All right, Mumford. Let's see here. We got presets. So starter flight set. Uh, it's 110. What if I want to equip him individually? Does that cost more? Well, let's get you a royal blue flight suit first, and then uh, 50 for the helmet. Don't have access to O2 bottles yet, but we can put him in a flak vest for another 50. Uh, and that is 110. Is there anything else I can give him? No, so 
The presets aren't any cheaper, it's just faster. Got it. Well, in that case, I'll probably use the uh, presets. But we'll uh, equip these guys a little bit differently to suit their roles better. Um, yeah, so apparently starting armor is not that important. Uh, because we've already got them all up to... Looks like 15. With their gear. That might be solely from their gear, though. Let's see. Yeah, so that's from the gear. This is in addition to their other ratings. So it looks like you're going to get a lot more armor from gear than you would from... Um, base stats anyway, so I don't think putting too much stock into armor is necessary. Speed, however, seems to be diminished by the equipment, so that's something that's going to be really important. Alright, um, let's do training. Is there anything that we can do here? Uh, so their skills are all locked. I imagine they'll need to level up first. Okay, so he has emergency landing and bailout. Um, perform an emergency landing anywhere. Automatically order the rest of the crew to grab parachutes and bail out. Okay. And he's the only one with any sort of ability. Let's take a look at our aircraft. So here it is. Um, it's called the Dumpy Dustbin right now. We can change that to whatever we like, though. So I'll leave it for now. If you guys want to suggest a name for the plane, feel free to do that in the comments below. Uh, let's see. So the livery. Um, let's see. We have the classic camouflage there. We've got this really awful seafoam color. Plaid. Uh... Cat plane, interesting. Um, Dark Knight, Golden Eagle, Neon Disco, Over the Rainbow, Pearl, Turtle Shell, and Woodland Camo. Hmm. I actually like the the classic camo. I like the two tone stuff happening there. So for our nose art, what do we want to throw on here? We can rep the curve. I think is the publisher, and then Runner Duck is the developer. Uh, and then we can actually add custom stuff here. Let's see, so we can draw something if we want. Uh, I'm not going to bother right now, but you can add custom designs in here. So we could do like a big Pac-Man face or something. But I'm just going to do, I'll roll with Runner Duck. Apparently that's, did that cost me money? I, don't, I couldn't tell if it said zero or if it was like 20 or something. My microphone's in the way. Um, what do we want to add here? We can do flames, we can do... I always thought those were supposed to be sharks, but okay. And we can customize those as well. Um, I like the flames. Okay, so they're free. Wing art. What do we got here? Oh, just custom stuff. So we could add like a an RAF logo or something to the wings. Um, and we can apparently rep the name of the game on the side of our plane here. I'm not going to bother with that, though. All right, now to the important stuff. Uh, we can actually upgrade the various equipment on our plane. Uh, it looks like we're starting with um, a 30, well, two 303 Mark 1s. We can't upgrade them. Oh, no, we can't. Not enough research yet. Uh, there is a research mechanic in this. Uh, it's not showing it right now. I think we have to complete the first mission first. But once you hit the requisite number of points, you unlock this stuff. So we only have access to that right now. Um, we can add a ventral turret. We don't currently have one. That's going to cost us more than we can afford, though. Uh, we also have an upper turret and a nose turret, none of which we can upgrade yet. Um, it looks like we have basic radar. No fire extinguishers, which is a bit concerning. Uh, those are apparently integrated ones into the engine. I think we have fire extinguishers inside the plane. So let's see... Looks like we've got like a medic bay with a med pack there. Uh, we have the fire extinguisher there. And what's up here? Nothing. I can install that for a thousand. That might not be such a bad idea. Actually, if that's the medical table, shouldn't the... Um... I was going to say, shouldn't the med pack be there? And I'll put the parachute back here. I think that's a parachute. It looks like a parachute. Okay, good enough for me. Um, in the front, we can also equip one here. I don't have the money for it, though, so we'll just have to leave that be for now. Uh, we can also armor the fuselage pretty much throughout the plane. That is going to add weight, though. And in order to accommodate more weight, you will eventually need to upgrade the engine. I think we can get away with uh, 
let's see. So a total of two thousand, and we're currently at fifteen fifteen. So uh, we have room for four hundred and eighty-five more. I'm going to assume pounds uh, to add to our plane here. And so each one of these armor upgrades is going to, you know, add a certain amount. And we can armor the wings as well, and then uh, we can add survival stuff. Uh, apparently homing pigeons is all we can do there. So that's it for plane upgrades for now. Uh, as we get further along in the game, we'll have obviously more options to uh, add there. So let's go into briefing and choose a mission. Okay. So we get to pick. Uh, apparently that's the only one. Oh, practice. Okay. Uh, I thought I was done with tutorial stuff, but apparently not. Uh, so we'll get... Oh, they're paying me in pounds, not dollars. Got it. That makes sense. Um, completion reward, no research, but 900 pounds. And if we return safely, another 600, so I guess 1,500 in total. Let's go ahead and start. Okay. So the way this game works is essentially you're always going to be looking at your bomber plane here. And you can scroll in and out to look at your plane. Also, if you hold down the right, right mouse button, you can pan around it. Uh, if you scroll in enough, it'll give you a cutaway of your plane. And so we're going to select our pilot here, and we'll have him take off. It is a him, right? I think it's a him. So, off they go. And then you're going to be issuing most of your orders by pressing space, and it'll bring up this menu here. Uh, and then you're going to hover over any sort of markers like this, and if you hover long enough, they will uh, take care of themselves like so, and then you can exit by pressing space. So I think we're stuck in low altitude for now, but you can obviously change that. Um, since we are bombing, we're going to want to take Taylor off of the uh, front gun here. We're going to move her to the uh, bombing sites. You can take uh, reconnaissance photos here. You can uh, open and close the bomb bay doors. We're going to go ahead and open those up. Um, oh, I should be targeting that. Yeah. And then we need to select some bombs. And then basically once the target is in our crosshairs here, we press release. And uh, I don't think you need to lead targets at all. I'm pretty sure as long as they're like right in your crosshair, it should hit. But I guess we'll find out. So wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. And any second here, we should be seeing the target come into view. That should be good enough. Cool. Now we need to uh, get this waypoint here. And we're going to take some photos. So this is going to be used or done with the same character. Um, I think we can close the bomb bay doors at this point. I don't think we'll need them open to photograph. I think it's just used to the site. Um, not sure what this does. Apparently that's just a reading of how good a photograph you will be taking. I'm not sure what I'm taking a photo of. I don't see a target. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, I lost it. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. So we're gonna swing on over that way, and we'll fly over. Submarine's diving. Okay, so we're trying to photograph a submarine. Um, it's over here now, apparently. Bring it back around. Oh, yep, there it is, coming out of the water. We're already on top of it. I don't think we'll be able to get it. Oh, come on. Okay, bring us back around, and hopefully we can snap a picture before it goes back under. Oh, it's gone. Okay, we'll need to find one that stays above the surface long enough for us to actually get a picture. Alright, I think we got this one. Come on, line it up. Line us up. Any second. Oh no, wrong button. Damn it. <laughs> uh, apparently it gave me credit for it, so I'll, I'll take it, but I, I hit release instead of take photo there. So, away we go. Half fuel remaining. If we click on this guy, we can see um, the various stats of our 
plane here. Uh, it looks like our fuel is about halfway on each of these. We can transfer fuel to and away from the wings. So if we're having like a flame out over here, we can get the fuel all over to this side. Um, I don't know if that's going to affect balancing. Like if the left side of our plane being heavier is going to throw off the flight mechanics or something. Um, but we can, of course, transfer the fuel back and forth, and then it's telling us how quickly we're using said fuel. Um, I believe there are abilities for your technician that allow... For, I don't know why I keep calling it technician. For the engineer that allows you to use fuel at a slower rate. We've got 18 minutes of fuel, though. I don't think we'll need that much to get home. Keeping an eye open for any sort of... Uh, checkpoints. So far so good. Um, apparently he's locked out. Oh boy. Let's grab this first. I don't know if it'll matter since our hydraulics are out. Uh, and then I need you to go repair everything. Uh, I wish right click worked like I thought it did. There we go. So you basically left click everything. Right clicking just pans the camera. So he's going to fix that. Um, I think all these other notifications are due to that being out. And what I should have done is, Taylor, you should probably get back on your gun while we fly home. And I'm apparently missing navigational markers here. Why is that being weird? There we go. So yeah. Uh, you eventually get a lot of stuff going on uh, where you really need to be paying attention. Obviously, um, not doing the best job, however, doing commentary while I'm trying to focus on this it does make it a bit difficult. Um, so let's have you lower the gears, and I think that's pretty much mission complete. Alright, that's touchdown. So I think we did everything that we needed to do there. Um, maybe they'll dock us for not taking a great picture. But um, I think overall we were successful. So this thing's been all patched up. Yeah, we got we got the full 1500. So that is fine by me. Any level ups? That's gonna get a bit annoying after a while, I imagine. Uh, no, no level ups. These guys are close though. One more mission and they should be uh, level two. Alright, so is there any new stuff? Uh, it doesn't look like it, so why don't we just jump back into another mission? Actually, I do have a little bit to spend. So, let's go to aircraft, and maybe we'll get that additional equipment slot. So, we have one more here. Was there anything else that we could have upgraded? Don't have the research. So, here, the research mechanics finally implemented. We're at zero. Um, nothing that we're going to be able to really add there. I guess there was an additional gun turret. 1750, I can't afford that. So instead I'm going to do this. And let's see, I've got a fire extinguisher there. Parachute here. I'm going to put another fire extinguisher in, that to me makes the most sense. And I think that'll be all that we need. Actually, we could have grabbed some more armor. No, we couldn't have. Don't have the research. Okay. So, what else do we have going on here? We'll try to squeeze in one more mission. Search and rescue. Um, it looks like a fighter pilot went down. What were the other ones? Uh, let's see. D destroy the ammo dump supplying the guns. Okay. And... Uh, let's see. Knockout motor factories in Belgium. Huh. Well, that's low risk. This is also low risk. And this is also low risk. They're all paying the same. So I'm going to do... Let's do the motor factories. Okay. Davidson, why don't you get the plane rolling here? I'm going to pan out so I can actually move the camera around. And no nav points yet. Alright, so we've got enemy fighters coming in here. I'm going to go ahead and mark them, and hopefully our gunners can take care of them. There we go. 
Uh, we're having to fly low. There's a lot of cloud cover. And the, uh, the navigator was complaining that he couldn't see anything, so I decided to take us... I was at medium before. Uh, but he, he wasn't too pleased with that. Or she, excuse me, wasn't too pleased with that, so... Oh, wait, no. Navigator's a he. I keep confusing the radio operator and the navigator. Uh, let's go ahead and mark this bombing target. And then I will have, um, Taylor get on the bombing sites there. Let's open the bomb bay doors and we'll get this ready to go. I don't know how many targets we... Apparently there's only the one, so this should be pretty straightforward. So let's get these guys marked. Hopefully I can do it before we pass the target. Quickly... Okay. Oh man. Good thing that went quick because uh, we could miss the target there pretty easily. The bomb's away. And now we want to... Oh, we got an additional side objective here. Let's go ahead and do that. Taylor, I need you to uh, close the doors. Get ready to snap a picture. What's going on here? Oh, no. We want to do the, the picture first. So we'll get ready to take this picture. Oh, no. They're out of ammo. Uh, crap, crap, crap. Uh, let's just... Let's focus on getting the picture first, and then I'll fix it. Uh, wait for it. Okay, got it. I need you back on the gun now. You guys need to go grab ammo. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Grab ammo. Mumford, go repair the electronics, and then you're going to have to go deal with that engine. Um, it's only the one, so I think we'll be alright. And then let's get back on the right navigational heading here. On, fix it. Oh, this is not looking good. Okay, he's all reloaded. Awesome. Um, those are not marked, are they? Crap. Way too much happening right now. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Come on, get him. Get him, get him. Alright, and then uh, Mumford, I need you out here. Oh crap, really? As soon as he walks away, it went back down. And let's see, I'm, I'm going to have to learn hotkeys or something for this. It's, frankly, uh, it's a bit tricky to command everybody without them. Um, it looks like it wants me to put some people in uh, the bed there, but I don't think that that's going to help us at the moment. Let's get back on the right heading. And let's see, you're almost done there. We lost an entire engine over here. We might lose another one. Okay, how do you repair this? Can you repair it? I don't know. We'll get him out there and take a look. It really wants me to put him on the bed there. I don't think he can actually repair that, so Mumford, get back in your seat there. We might just need to uh, take ourselves up to a higher altitude and hope that we can avoid them that way. Uh, looks like we got fighters coming in. Just the one? That's all I'm getting on radar. Man, that was rough. They said low risk. That was... I mean, look at this. Look like Swiss cheese. Uh, but we did get the main objective as well as the side objective there. And we still have two and a half working engines, so I guess we're alright. Okay, um... We're not being chased anymore, so I think I can lower the gear and just worry about landing now. Okay, so we've got a little bit of an issue here. Uh, apparently we've only got one landing gear in the front, so this might get a little bit hairy here. Uh, I'm hoping Davidson can pull it off, though. Come on, Davidson, don't let us down. We made it! Sort of. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Oh god, that was bad. Alright. So, we got paid quite a bit there. Um, 
and then we made it back to base so we got the other 800 got the recon photos as well so an additional five uh, that actually worked out pretty well 2500 in total and almost 400 research out of that so we might have some new unlocks available for us when we get back uh, let's see did we get any level ups here I think the original crew might I don't know about some of the uh, newer people though no it looks like they all made it or did they I don't know uh, but let's see he got boost and Richard our pilot got emergency dive we'll have to see what that does okay so perform an emergency dive to pull out of engine fires or reach a lower altitude quickly that's pretty cool so I can put out engine fires without having to send my uh, my engineer out onto the wing with a fire extinguisher um, get a boost of speed by using a richer fuel mix okay but that's gonna use up more fuel if we do that and then we unlocked a couple of new parts uh, but that's where we're going to end it for today. So if you guys want to see more of this game, let me know in the comments below. I'll also have a link to the Steam page for you if you'd like to pick the game up for yourself. It is on sale, uh, I believe, at least for the next couple of days. So uh, I think the game normally is like $14.99 or something, and you can get it for like $12, $12.47 or something. Um, but yeah, this has been Bomber Crew. Hopefully you guys had as much fun as I did. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.